I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And this is Desmond Desmond Stonders. Today, we're off to Fenecti. Yes, I know what it says on the screen, but it is pronounced Fenecti. We're headed off for a one-nighter, total change of plans, due to Storm Arwen. And we'll see, as we speed up and slow down the journey, some of the damage caused on just this road. But, as we leave Fockabers and head out on the A98, we, uh, we'll... This is just one road that was blocked. We were kind of blocked in completely at one stage on Friday night. But luckily, we didn't lose power. And the next day, the wind's not so bad. So away we're going. And uh, as we come up to the first slowing point, I'll let you see the trees. And as we approach Fenecti itself and the park up, somebody else is off out, taking advantage of the slightly better weather. But uh, it's not all easy getting to these park ups, you know. <laughs> no, we're faced with a little bit of awkward parking. But first, we have to negotiate the wagon cutting down the bushes. And as we approach the car park, or the park up, uh, cars parked technically on the wrong side of the road, but fully understandable as uh, they'd be blocking the garage if they went to the other side. And uh, here we are, approaching Finecti Car Park. Gonna hear me on this. I'll uh, I'll do voiceover. But just in case, this is for Nectar. Bay is full of goals. The water is jumping high, and it's freezing cold. The day after storm Harwin. This is not our planned spot. We had planned to be elsewhere, but that spot had no shelter. The alternative at the place was too peopley. We'll take some more photos later. Diary, 27th of November 2021. Storm Arwen changed our plans big time. We were supposed to be heading for White Hills, but that quickly changed as the weather worsened. We had several ideas of places to shelter, but eventually decided to stay at home. Today, we decided to head for an overnighter at a new to us spot near home at Finecti. We arrived around midday and settled in. The weather is still wet and windy, but the kettle is soon on. We take a risk outside and I missed some shots by forgetting to hit that little red button. And Lindsay went off to take photos and so I went back into the van. The place is a little gem for birding and there are a good number of various species about. And later we watch videos and the photos we have taken during the day 
and spend the evening watching video, reading and listening to music. Then, it's time for bed. Twenty-eighth of November, 2021. We woke to the sound of rain, but the wind has certainly dropped. We had our breakfast and I went out to film and I also decided it was not going to be a flying day. I spent some time birding, even watching a daft robin having a bath. Lindsay decided she was not going out, so very soon it was time to head for home. Only a short taster of this lovely place, but we will be back. Birds, herring gull, oyster catcher, blackbird, carrion crow, fulmer, great black backed gull, stone chat, black headed gull, cormorant, red shank, curlew, robin, wood pigeon, pink footed goose, song thrush, wren, kestrel, ida.
to the wet it's actually not bad here we are and uh connecting the day after the day after so well, i'm not going far it is bitterly cold we've had sleet we've had snow let's go and have a look over the sea wall Sandy beach, a rocky cove, a rainstorm heading our way. But not a bad spot. In fact, a great spot. We have rain hitting the window hard one side of the van and uh, I tried to get the sound of it but the wind was just blowing it away and you couldn't hear the sound. But on this side of the van it might be raining, Lindsay's not keen on that but she's even less keen on what she can see when she looks out the other window. Time to pack up and head for home. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully We'll see you next time.